Let's go over how to import property data from listing sites such as Airbnb and VRBO. You'll need to head over to the Properties tab. Now let's go ahead and import an Airbnb listing. Here you see there's a URL box. This is where you'll paste your URL for your Airbnb listing. Let's head over to Airbnb and copy the URL for our listing. We'll go ahead and paste the URL right into this box, and now you see we have a few more options to select. Here you can select Add New Property, which uses the name on the listing. You can update an existing property if you've already started working on one in Onerez. And you can select what you want to import. If you only wanted the description, you can uncheck everything else and only import that. If you'd like everything, leave everything selected. Let's go ahead and click import. This process may take a little bit of time. That's because it's pulling everything from Airbnb into Onerez. Now we see that the import has completed. Here we see detailed results of everything that was just imported from Airbnb. We can click into each one of these to see exactly what was imported. Let's go ahead and click into the property. Let's take a look at some of the data that was pulled in from Airbnb. As you can see, the occupancy max has been pulled in, the bedrooms and bathrooms, the sleeps minimum and maximum. We can go over to amenities and we can see that it pulled in the minimum age of the primary renter. It pulled in all the rules such as smoking, pets, if you allow children and infants. Down here you can see all the amenities that were pulled over that you had already set in Airbnb. We can go over to description. You'll see the headline. We'll see the description that you had in Airbnb, the short description, and any other information that you had already input into Airbnb. You can also take a look at the photos. As you can see, everything was pulled in straight from Airbnb, along with the descriptions for each photo and the proper order. Under rooms and accommodations we see all the bedrooms, the bed sizes, the bathrooms, and all the bathroom details. An important note, calendars will not be imported from Airbnb. You will still need to manually import the calendars by following this guide. Other things that you may need to adjust are the rules. In here you'll want to set the proper security deposits the check-in, check-out time, the size restrictions, length restrictions, and any other rules you might have. You will also need to add the address. If we go under settings, then go to rates, then select that property, you'll see there are no rates. You will need to go in and enter the rates for the property. Importing the property data does not import everything it only imports what you had checked off initially. Let's go to settings, then identifier mapping, then Airbnb, and you'll see the property we just imported now has the Airbnb listing number next to it. This is important for using the channel bridge tool, and this automatically happens when you import a property from Airbnb. Now that we have imported the property from Airbnb, Let's import the data from VRBO for that same property. We'll go to import from home away slash VRBO, go over to the VRBO listing site, copy the URL of your listing, we'll go back to Onerez and paste that URL. Since we already imported the property with Airbnb, we don't want to create a new property. We would like to update an existing property. Let's go ahead and select the property we just imported. And now underneath, we'll want to check everything we would like to merge with all the content we already imported. As you can see, rule updates will merge with any existing rules. The descriptions will be overwritten with the existing description in VRBO. So if you have different descriptions on both listing sites and you want to keep the one that was from Airbnb, you'll want to uncheck this. Photos will be merged with existing photos. The bedrooms and bathrooms will overwrite any existing bedrooms and bathrooms. Since this is the same property and both listing sites have the same information, we don't have to worry about this. 
because both listing sites have the same amenities on them, we don't have to worry about this either. Now you're ready to import. Again, this may take a little bit as everything is being pulled from the VRBO listing site into Onares. Now we see the import is complete and you can view all the detailed results of everything that was imported. Let's go back to settings. Now go to identifier mapping. Now you see that there's both Airbnb and VRBO mappings. We can click in and see that the VRBO listing number is next to the property name. Everything has imported correctly now. That's how you import property data from Airbnb and VRBO.